All right, so in this video, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to add any device to Amazon Alexa. As long as it has a remote control, you can add it to your Amazon Alexa and control it with your voice. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to building your ultimate smart home. And with this video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be adding this smart Wi-Fi music starlight to our Amazon Alexa. All right, and what this starlight does is it actually creates like a cloud of color and then it has green lasers that shine as well. And it's a pretty cool device. I will leave a link in the video description on where you can find this. Definitely pretty cool to add to a kid's room for sure. Uh, what we're gonna be doing is basically adding these remote commands to an RM Pro 4. And what this does is this RM Pro 4, what it does is it can uh, basically learn RF and infrared signals. So by replacing this remote with the RM Pro 4, it's much better than a remote. So this is the newest version of the RM Pro 4. And this is quite a bit smaller than the other version. So you can see that in my hand, um, it's relatively small and it's really good looking. It feels much better quality than the previous versions of the RM Pro. Okay, so to get the Broadlink RM Pro set up, what you need to do is you need to download the Broadlink app. And it's basically like a B made with a bunch of little dots and it's blue. So we're just gonna tap on that. And then basically this is what it looks like. All right, so when you plug in your Broadlink RM Pro 4, what should happen is this blue light should be flashing rapidly. Now, if it doesn't, there is a reset button on the back you can just hold that down until it starts flashing and then you can do the setup. So ours is flashing. So what we need to do is just click add device. So now it's going to look for our device and just hit yes at the bottom and then just tap join and then just tap okay if it doesn't find it. So now it's gonna tell you some uh, different steps here that we need to do. Um, so make sure the device is in smart setup mode. So it is flashing fast. Um, so that is correct and let's tap on next and this may be the problem if your phone is in 5g you have to change it over to 2.4 so my network is my 2.4 so we are now connected to my 2.4 come over here and now it's already filled in the name and the password tap on connect to Wi-Fi and now you can see the blue light is just flashing s slowly now and what it's doing is it's sending all the Wi-Fi information over to the Broadlink RM Pro 4, and that way it can connect to our network because that is the way it is going to connect and communicate with Alexa through the cloud. All right, now once it finds your device, you just have to choose it from the list, and then you would just add it to a room and tap Next. And then you need to name your device. I'm just gonna call that the exact same thing as the room. All right, so we have Ari's room and then just tap on save. Tap on save. And now we are done. You go to use device now. And then what you would want to do is add appliances. And then here, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna to have to choose something that is similar to our device here. I'm gonna choose the LED strip light and we're just gonna click add appliance. So we're just gonna tap okay there. And then we're gonna choose at the very bottom, can't find my brand, learn the remote right away. All right, now we're gonna basically be choosing our um, remote type. So you either have an IR remote, which is the most common, or an RF remote. So you would look at the end of your remote and ours has a lens. So you can see that lens at the end. So we know that this is an IR remote. We're just going to choose IR remote. And then you're just gonna choose where you want to put the device. So obviously um, it's all gonna be in Ari's room. So we're just gonna choose Ari's room again 
and then tap on next at the bottom starlight I'm just going to say I know it at the bottom and then just go to use device now so we're just going to tap on OK there and now basically everything is gray because um, it doesn't know what this device is so we're just basically going to be adding the commands that are on the remote into the Broadlink RM Pro 4 so it can communicate with this device through the IR signal. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tap on the on and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit the power button for the LED. So that is the main on and off button. So all we have to do is tap start learning at the bottom. All right. And then it says just push the button, do not hold it. And it has a countdown timer at the bottom. So we're just going to push this and you can see that this is orange. So we're going to push the power button and now the orange light has gone out and it says that they have received the signal successfully. And then we can just hit the button and then just tap on yes. We're going to tap on yes at the bottom. And now you can see that the on button is now black. So that means that that is actually learned. So we're going to do the same thing with the off. And I'm going to actually tap don't show again at the bottom and then hit start learning. That way it will be a little bit cleaner from here on out. And then we're just going to tap the off button. Since there is no off button, you just hit the power button again to turn it off. Um, that will turn it off. All right, so hit yes. All right, so we have on and off. Um, now we don't really have all of the options that we need, but the laser does have a power button as well. So we're going to have that one be flash. Now we also have brightness. So basically as you tap this, it gets brighter, 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 and then it goes dim again, brighter, 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 and then it goes dim again. So you would just add that once. You can't have a positive and a negative because you are limited to what is on your actual remote. The laser light button. So I'm gonna put that one as the strobe. And we also have a fade here as well. So let's choose fade two. And now if we tap under the more, we have some colors. So we're gonna add the red, the blue, the white. We also have green. All right, that is basically all I want to add from this remote. So basically all we've done is we have rebuilt this remote into the Broadlink app, and that will give us the ability to control this device using this device. Um, and right now we're gonna be using our phone, but the next step will be to add some routines so they will show up in the Alexa app. So let's just make sure that this works and we'll just try and test this out real quick. All right, so I have turned the lights off and now I'm just going to tap the on button that we added on the app. All right, and now you can see it turned on the blue lights. All right, now to turn on the lasers, remember that was the flash. All right, now you can see some lasers there. And notice the lasers come on and off. So I want them to stay on. So if I tap the strobe, now they're going to be on permanently. That was that other button that I added. So you can say this looks, even on the camera, it looks pretty cool. Now in the entire room, it's all over the ceiling as well. So it's basically pointing straight up on the wall. Um, it's kind of looking a little bit weird, but still looks pretty cool. Now, if we wanted to change the color to red, we would just tap on red. And now we actually have red and blue. So if we wanted to only have red, we would have to go into the app and tap on blue, and that would turn off the blue. We can also add green to the red. So now it's green and red. If we tap the green again, we're back to red. We can add white to the red. So you can see as we tap different colors, you know, it just changes. And this is just straight lasers. 
So you can see we can easily control this right from our phone. Um, so this is exactly what we wanted and you can see it's very responsive. This is way better than the remote control that comes with your device. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a routine using the Starlight. That way we can add it to Alexa. All right, now before we do this, let's go ahead and add the link between the Broadlink and Alexa. So how you do that is you on the app, you go to the Me section in the bottom right, and then you go to Add Voice Assistance. And then here you have all of these different options. So we're just going to tap on Alexa at the top. So we're going to go ahead and link now at the bottom. Tap on link. Now you can see it says you have successfully linked with Amazon Alexa. What we need to do in the Broadlink RM Pro app is add a scene and that will automatically show in Alexa. So we're gonna tap on the plus sign at the top and we're gonna tap on add scene and we're just going to do a general scene. All right, here you can choose a scene icon. So just choose one that looks good and you can choose a scene name, starlight on and then click on save and then we just tap on add device. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be using the starlight and then you have all of the options from the starlight. So obviously to turn it on, we're going to tap the on button. And then what we're going to be doing next is we're going to add the starlight again. And then we're going to want to turn on the lasers. So we're going to choose the flash and then let's add another command blue. And we're going to add another one and we're going to choose the strobe which should keep the lasers on and let's go ahead and save that all right so i have stopped it and now let's go ahead and run that scene now that is exactly what we want and now let's do a scene that will turn it off all right so now when we go over to the alexa app these scenes should be showing in the alexa app and we just go to devices at the bottom and let's go over to scenes and here you have the starlight on and the starlight off all right now when you tap on those devices um, you can see that it says under the description section broad link scene so that is definitely the one that we just made and that is there so now what you can do the last step to really get this to be easily usable is go to the more section and then what you want to do is create a routine in the Alexa app. So tap on routines and we're going to tap on plus sign and enter routine and just say, and then we want to make it easily controllable with our voice. So we're just going to tap on when this happens and voice turn on stars. and add an action and you would just want to choose smart home and control a scene at the bottom here and now we just need to find our on so here it is and tap on add and then you can also add other actions as well if you wanted to so we're just going to keep it simple here and tap on save And now let's add one more. And now we can test it. Amazon, turn on stars. And there you go, it works perfectly. So now you can see that you can control any device that has a remote control using the Broadlink RM Pro 4 and it will work perfectly when you create your routine. Now, obviously every remote is different, but you can do this with very basic remotes, so light strips, candles, all kinds of different things. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I read every single comment and I respond to every single comment. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.